Assalamualaikum and very good morning. So today we are going to discuss topic of kinematics of linear motion. Okay, kinematics actually function of time. There are three components in this topic which are displacement, velocity and acceleration. Okay, displacement is S, velocity is V and acceleration is A. Unit for displacement is meter or M. You need for velocity is meter per second or ms power of negative 1. And you need for acceleration is meter per second squared or ms power of negative 2. Okay, so from displacement, you can find velocity. So to find velocity from displacement, we can differentiate. Okay. So, from the velocity to find acceleration, you differentiate another time. Okay, so since of uh, integration is inverse process of differentiation, so from acceleration to velocity, we can integrate. And from velocity to find displacement, you integrate another time. Okay, so... Um, these three components are quantities of vector which have magnitude and direction. Okay, so for displacement first, okay, so we go uh, displacement. Okay, so when displacement is positive, okay, so S more than zero, the object is at the right. Okay, so when S less than zero, displacement negative, the object is at the left. And when displacement is zero, the object is at point O or the object returns to O or the object passes through O again. Okay, so you can see here the displacement actually uh, the position of the uh, particle. Okay, so for velocity, okay, for velocity, velocity uh, is about the movement of the particle. Just now, displacement is the, uh, uh, represent the position of the particle. So, velocity represent the movement of the particle. Okay, when velo velocity is positive, so uh, V, sorry, V, more than zero, the particle is moving to the right. Okay, when particle uh, when v is less than zero, the particle move to the left. Okay, when v equals to zero, okay, the particle rest or, or stop or stationary or change or change direction. Direction of the particle is reverse. The uh, displacement is maximum or minimum. Okay. So, that's happened when V equals to 0. Okay, so the last one, the, the last component is acceleration. Okay, so acceleration uh, is about the rate of change of velocity. Okay, when velocity increasing, okay, when velocity increase, okay, so acceleration is positive. So, A more than 0, the velocity increase. Okay, when A less than 0 or, or uh, A negative, the velocity decrease. Okay, when A equals to 0, okay, uh, the velocity constant or uniform. Okay, or maximum minimum velocity. So, this is the overview of topics of kinematic of linear motion okay now let's do exercise from textbook page 257 okay self exercise 8.1 question number one a particle moves along a straight line and passes through a fixed point o its displacement s is given by okay s equals 2 to t squared minus 5t minus 3 where t is the time in second after the movement begins okay a find the instantaneous displacement in meter of the particle when t equals to zero okay so a when t equals to zero meaning that the initial displacement you just substitute t zero into s okay so s equals to 2 times 0 squared minus 5 times 0 minus 3 so, it equals to negative 3 meter. Okay, A2, T2, 
T equals to 2, substitute T 2 into S, 2 times 2 squared minus 5 times 2 minus 3. Okay, this one equals to negative 5 meter. Okay, so the explanation of this situation actually when T equals to 0, the uh, particle negative. So, meaning that when T equals to 0, the particle is 3 meter to the left of point O. And the next one, when T equals to 2, the particle is 5 meter to the left of point O. Now, 1B, uh, find the time when the particle B1 passes through point O. Okay, so passes through O. Okay, passes through O actually S equals to 0. Okay, so then here we got S equals to 2 T squared minus 5 T minus 3 equals to 0. Okay, this is quadratic function. So, to solve, you can uh, factorize. Okay, so 2 T T uh, minus, sorry, plus 1 minus 3. Okay, so this one, t equals 2, negative 1 over 2, and t equals to 3. Okay, t is time. Okay, t is time. So, time is quantity of scalar. So, meaning that always positive. So, we choose, uh, choose t equals to 3. Okay, so the next one, uh, find the time when the particle is 9 meter to the right. Okay, so B2, 9 meter to the right, meaning that um, S is 9. Okay, positive 9. So, S is 9. 9 is, uh, S is 2 T squared minus 5 T minus 3 equals to 9. So, 2 T squared minus 5 T minus 12 equals to 0. Okay, this one is uh, quadratic. Function so you factorize two t t plus three minus four. Okay, so t equals to negative three over two, and t equals to four. And again, uh, t is a uh, quantity of scalar, so we choose the positive one. So choose t equals to four second. Okay, this one for sec three second actually. Then C, okay, determine the range of time. Okay, range of time. In second, when the particle is to the right of point O. Okay, uh, right of point O, meaning that uh, right O, E, S is more than 0. Okay, so S is 2T squared minus 5T minus 3 more than 0. This is quadratic inequalities. Okay, to solve this, uh, you factorize first 2t, t minus 3 plus 1. Okay, so this is um, parabola. This is mild curve. Okay, parabola with minimum point. Okay, so here the roots t negative 1 over 2, t is 3. So negative 1 over 2 right here, um, 3 right here. Okay, more than. More than is this side, okay, to find the range of value of t. So, for this uh, area, t less than negative 1 over 2. And the right side, t more than 3. Okay, again, t always positive. So, you cannot choose this one. So, the answer is uh, t more than 3. Second, a particle moves along a straight line and passes through a fixed point O. Its velocity v meter per second is given by v equals to t squared minus 8t plus 7, where t is the time in second after passing through O. Okay, find the instantaneous velocity in meter per second of the particle when t equals to 3. Okay, so instantaneous velocity means you substitute t equals to 3 into v. So t equals to 3, v equals to 3 squared minus 8 times 3 plus 7. So equals to negative 8 meter per second. Okay, b, 
calculate the values of t in second when the particle stop instantaneously. So stop, okay, stop uh, v equals to 0. So then uh, v is t squared minus 8t plus 7 equals to 0. This one quadratic. So we factorize, we get t minus 1, t uh, minus 7. So t equals to 1, t equals to 7. Okay, so these uh, two values of t. Okay, so C determine the range of values of t in second when the particle moves to the left. Okay, moves to the left. Okay, so C move left. Okay, move left meaning that uh, V negative. Okay, so T squared minus 80 um, plus 7 is less than 0. This is quadratic inequalities. Okay, so we factorize this. Uh, T minus 1, T minus 7. Okay, so then we draw the small curve. So this one, the roots T1 and T7. This one, 1 and 7. Okay, so uh, less than 0. Okay, so this area. So, therefore, T is between 1 to 7. Number 3. A particle moves along a straight line and passes through a fixed point O. Its acceleration, A meter per second squared, is given by A equals to 8 minus 4 t where it is the time in second after passing through o a find the instantaneous acceleration in meter per second squared of the particle when t equals to 4 okay instantaneous acceleration means t4 into a so 8 minus 4 times 4 equals to uh, negative 8 meter per second squared Okay, so then uh, B, calculate the time uh, in second when the velocity of the particle is maximum. So, velocity maximum A equals to 0. Okay, so A is 8 minus 40 equals to 0. Then T equals to 2 second. Okay, C, determine the range of time in second when the velocity of the particle is increasing. So, velocity increasing. So, then A is positive or A more than 0. Okay, A is 8 minus 40 more than 0. Okay, so then... 8 more than 40, uh, 40 is less than 8, so T is less than uh, 2, okay. So, since of uh, T is time, okay, T is always positive. So, therefore, you must put uh, T is more equal than 0 but less than 2.